making video almost all day so this is the last piece of my video until go to God another day so I'm a, my advice to those that are looking for love and you're looking for love in the wrong place I stop by to tell you how to find love you're gonna find your man just don't want to have sex only you want to find a man that can that can communicate with you a man that can go to God hold your feet and rub it a man that cares about you a man that knows about you from inside and out don't find a man just want to hump and dump you but you're gonna find a man that don't holler scream talk bad about you holler in your face verbally abuse you but a man that is very concerned very loving about you so you can find a man that can have sex with you but you're gonna find your man glory to God that love God you gonna find your man of God not a pastor a man that love God when a man that love God is a man that's going to love you for who you are. He's not going to love your body parts. He's not going to love your butt, your breasts, and your booty. He's going to love you as a person. He's going to see the, the inside of you by the way you talk. And for the men, how you find you a, a, a gorgeous woman, a pretty woman? It's not the looks, but the way she talks. It's the way she think. It's the way she look from inside coming out. Because beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So how do you find the love of your life? You find the love of your life because the Bible say, A man that find a wife, find a good thing, and have favor of the Lord. And women, you don't look. You just prepare yourself for that that, that gracious man, that man that love you not because of your butt, not because of your breasts, not because of your booty, but because he love you in and out. And he love you because of the way you think, the way you talk, and the way you carry yourself. Glory to God. Don't expose what is is for him in the bedroom. And men don't expose what for her only for the bedroom. And this is how you find you a, a woman of God, not a preacher. A woman that love God. It's hard to find those women and you not find her in the church. You can find her on your job. You can find her when you go to the grocery store. You can find her by walking down the street. And that might be the love of your life. And how you find? You find her by you praying. By you saying, Lord, hallelujah, bless me with the love of my life. And when you find the love of your life, she don't, she don't look like Jezebel. She don't look like a whore. She look like a decent whore. Women and women, when you find your your prince charm, he's not a player or a pimp, and he's not even a preacher, but he's a he's a prince. Hey, glory to God, he's a king, and he's royal priesthood. So how do you find the love of your life? You find the love of your life by you being in the right place, by you being in the right position, and by you having the right purpose hey glory to god and by you having those three p's the right place the purpose and the position and the hallelujah you can find the right person for your life so how do you find the right person for your life you find it by praying you find it by talking to god and god will find the person for you my friend, don't go to the witch doctor. Don't go to the suit doctor. Don't go to people that practice magic. But go to the one that created you, which is the creator of the universe. You don't need to go to the psychic hotline. You don't need to go to horoscope. But you need to go to the one that created you, and that's God. 
hey glory to God.